Hello, my name is Justin Calvalli with Engineering Pro Guides, and this is another video on the FE Mechanical Exam, specifically on Topic 1, Mathematics, where there are 6 to 9 problems on the 110 FE Mechanical Exam. 110 problems. Uh, this is Part 1 of the Mathematics series, and this is just an overview of the topic and what is included in this topic. So, like I previously stated, the uh, mathematics accounts for six to nine questions out of the total 110 problems on the FE mechanical exam. And the topics that are covered in the mechanical FE outline that it, NCS explicitly calls out for are analytic geometry, calculus, linear algebra, vector analysis, differential equations, and numerical methods. So these are very, very large topics. and um, it may seem daunting to study all of these topics again, but you should not be too worried because you most likely will only need to know the equations that are shown in the FEA reference handbook and as and only the equations within that handbook that relate to mechanical engineering. So this is our analysis of what we think will be on the exam under mathematics. <clears throat> so Again, there are six subtopics, but on the NCS outline, there are no uh, additional items in there. Other, other NCS FE outlines, like other disciplines, include items in parentheses, and they specifically call out for certain items, but uh, FE Mechanical does not include these items. So we've done our own analysis and included uh, these items shown in green. So, just going through it from the top, analytic geometry, how we came up with those topics. Um, so basically, we, we looked at each topic and we um, whittled them down to smaller topics based on whether or not they were included in the FE reference handbook and whether or not the equation or the subtopic within that larger topic could be solved within three minutes. And then we also looked at whether or not that um, equation or um, topic was related and used in mechanical engineering, specifically if it's used later on in other topics like statics, dynamics, mechanics, materials, fluids, thermodynamics, and heat transfer. So with that criteria, we, we um, analyzed analytic geometry and we came up with the skills that you need. Um, these things include like uh, being familiar with equations for lines, curves, uh, slopes, log functions, natural log functions, and trigonometry. It's because uh, many of these skills and concepts and equations are used in statics, dynamics, and mechanics. Uh, On to calculus. Calculus is used um, in actually all of the topics, and um, the main things that you need to be familiar with are derivatives and integrals. This is where uh, having the solve function on your calculator will be very beneficial, uh, which we'll cover later. Uh, the next topic is linear algebra. This includes linear equations, matrices, and we included these because they can be used in some more complex mechanics problems. Uh, the next topic is vector analysis. This is used with, with statics and dyna dynamics. For example, you need to know how forces act in a direction and be able to characterize the direction with vectors. So you are going to need to be familiar with rectangular, polar, converting between those two, and then carrying out mathematical functions like adding, subtracting, multiplication, division, with vectors. The next two topics actually lead us into what we ruled out, and these are shown in red. So starting from the bottom, numerical methods, we ruled out uh, algebraic equations, roots of equations, approximations, precision limits. Uh, there are other FE um, exams that do cover those items, I believe. Other disciplines like explicitly calls out those. Uh, differential equations, we ruled out homogeneous, non-homogeneous, Laplace transforms, 
just because uh, those types of problems take a little bit longer than three three minutes and they're not necessarily related to mechanical engineering. Um, we looked at vector analysis, we looked at um, 3D vectors, spherical, cylindrical, and we ruled out those because those take a lot longer than three minutes to solve. Uh, similarly, linear algebra ruled out multilinear, uh, calculus ruled out multivariable, analytic geometry ruled out the um, like 3D type problems. So we're just focusing on two dimensions and we just believe that these problems can be solved within you know, three minutes. <clears throat> so what should you study and what should you focus on for mathematics? Uh, our belief is that you should focus on just completing you know, a few practice problems within the math mathematics uh, practice exam and study guides that we have on our uh, website and believe that those should be sufficient enough. Um, but as you go through the other topics like statics, dynamics, and you come across a problem and you're not entirely sure or confident in doing some of the math involved, um, then we suggest you, know, you contact us or you investigate further into uh, that mathematical equation. Second, I uh, should focus on practicing with your calculator. When you complete these problems, just try to find the fastest way to complete them with your, your calculator. Uh, this could be using the solve function, this could, uh, you know, or just, just practicing and um, getting up in your speed with using your calculator to car carry out, you know, matrices or to carry out trigonometry or integrals or derivatives. Just being very familiar such that you know you can save some time doing these math problems and it should also carry on to the other uh, mechanical engineering topics. Lastly, should investigate the equations that are given in the mathematics section in the NCS FE reference handbook. Use the same uh, analysis that we use with the uh, three minutes per problem. Is it used in mechanical engineering? And look at all those equations that are left and if you don't understand how to use any of the equations then you should investigate those further and you can contact us again at engineering pro guides um, but yeah that's the basic overview of the mathematics section and what we're going to do through, uh, later on in this set of videos is to just complete some practice problems that are related in to mechanical engineering can be completed in three minutes and yeah so stay tuned thank you